I started the recording, began the September, not the August, thank you, Hank, meeting for the Hampton Road Ship Model Society. Uh, we, it doesn't look like we have any guests today. Scanning the screen, no guests. Um, additions or corrections to the minutes? Did we spell Beagle correctly this month? Yeah, so that like correction, yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, treasurer's report. Okay. Uh, we started the month off, month of August off with $2,817.64. We collected dues of $112. We got a, a Zoom reimbursement for the Ship Model Society of New Jersey of $50. A Zoom reimbursement uh, from the Philly Ship Model Society of $50. And we also received a contribution of $50. Uh, total receipts during the month are $262, uh, leaving us an ending balance and no disbursements. But I do owe Greg for, uh, I think it's $171 for the uh, uh, annual Zoom meetings and some other expenses. And so the uh, ending balance is $3,079.64. So not bad considering that we haven't had an option this year. Uh, just to let you know, uh, you know, dues, pretty much everybody paid up. I had four members that, that still owe dues. Uh, I don't expect to collect those. Uh, we, that leaves us with 46 regular members, five associate members, and one honorary member. So we got 52 members, less, less than four that haven't paid. But we'll, we'll see what happens once we go back to regular meetings, because two of them uh, were you know, semi-active. I mean, they, they came, you know, at least every other meeting, but haven't paid dues. So we're in good shape. All right. Thank you. Roland, I've got a question. Yes. Uh, did we make the disbursement to the uh, rowing club yet? No, we have not. Uh, that's, I'm glad you brought that up because I was reading the minutes and, uh, and uh, I don't know where to send the money to. Does anybody? Well, I had um, I had the action to contact Shirley to get information from her about that. Okay. And I was going to bring that up uh, during old business. Sure. Okay. Uh, anything else for the treasurer? All right. I'm going to do webmaster's report. Um, so this is something that I talked about. In the past, I started playing around with um, a glossary. Never really took it anywhere. Um, went back to it. Chose a different, I, so I don't want to bore everyone with the details, but there's WordPress is what we use for the website. And then you have these add-ins that add different features to it, like the glossary is an add-in. Um, and there's more than one add-in for the same type of functionality. So you just have to choose whichever one you like best. I picked a different one and started adding entries to it. So how it works is you add a term and it will scan the entire your website and add links automatically. So every time I added an entry for Brig and now everywhere the word Brig appears on our website, there's a link and when you put your mouse over it, it pops up the definition for Brig. Oh. And if you click on it, then it'll go to a page that has the same information or perhaps an expanded version. Uh, in this case, I think it's probably the same. And you can see these are other terms. Um, so I was just, you know, just something to play around with. It's not necessarily our club's purpose to be an encyclopedia, but it actually helps me because sometimes I get uh, I forgetful about what these different things mean. I learned a lot trying to disambiguate some of them, because if you go look up the definition for brigantine, you'll get some conflicting data. So I had to kind of decide what I thought the uh, um, consensus was, so to speak. Craig, you need uh, a so and then uh, 
you can click on this and it'll go to a listing of all the terms that have been entered. So that's what I've entered so far. And you can also get there under references. There is a link to this same page. So just uh, maybe someone will use it. Maybe it'll just be for me either way. Um, if you have an entry that you think you want added, send me the information. I won't have to do the research. I'll only have to enter it myself to cut down on my work. Um, recent posts. So this is a feature we used to have where there would be a listing of recent posts and I got rid of it because it was listing all of the log books I add for other clubs and I didn't want that. Uh, so I found out how to fix that. I think again, it was using a different uh, add-in that served the same purpose, but you know, it's a different solution. So now every time I add a um, new entry of a particular type, it'll be included here. Um, what else? Someone noted uh, last month that the calendar dates uh, were incorrect for the monthly meeting. And I forgot about it until Tom reminded me a day or two ago. Um, turned out that I was entering them correctly, but these add-ins that I mentioned can conflict with one another. So I had to one at a time go through the add-ins uh, just to show you what I'm talking about. Uh, la, 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 la. So this is the administrative page. So these are all the things added on to the basic WordPress functionality. These are all the things that I've added in to make the website behave the way it does. I had to disable these one at a time until I found out what was breaking the calendar. It turned out to be the auction. So you can see this auction plugin is what we were using for the auction and I, I had to deactivate it in order to get the, the calendar to work properly. So we do not have an auction page anymore. Like I said, there's different add-ins. There's probably, you know, there might be a dozen different add-ins for auctions. I'll have to find one that doesn't have a conflict with our calendar. We weren't using the auction much, um, so it's no great loss, but um, Ulrich recently said that he had a bunch of models he wanted to get rid of and that he had put a lot of money into them and didn't want to donate them to the club and have them go for pennies. He'd rather, uh, he'd rather sell them. And I have an item I would rather sell than donate. Um, so I will try and find another solution for that. Um, that, that's it for the webmaster. Uh, didn't get any models added this month. I have um, Dave's Echo cross section almost ready to post, so that'll happen probably later today. Uh, okay, that's it for me. So on to old business. Uh, we'll start with what was already brought up: George Livingston's uh, memorial donation. She really um, said that she thought it'd be more appropriate if it went to the museum because. Um, that's where our club meets and because they have a lot of family ties to the museum, she thought that would, um, I don't remember what the family ties were. She expanded on that a little bit, but um, apparently she thought that would be the most appropriate thing. So I think we'll just do that instead. So we can go ahead and we can go ahead and move forward with that, Rylan. Uh, Pardon? Hundred dollar contribution. Yeah, that's what we voted on, and we voted for the uh, the rowing club. But I don't know that we need to revote. I mean, Shirley's um, given us direction. I'm sure we can go with that. If there's any disagreement, speak up, or forever hold your peace. Um. So 
Ryland mentioned that we got $50 each from the New Jersey and Philadelphia clubs last month. I said that we decided to uh, continue paying for our meeting separately, but that there was still a bit of an ongoing discussion. That discussion led to us um, going ahead with the, the joint venture. So instead of each club paying $150 a year, each club is only paying $50 a year. And uh, I think it's working fine. Um, we met today just as always, no problems. Except for that I said August instead of September, but I think you're all here, so no problems. And uh, I think Dave was the first one to bring that up. So thanks for the suggestion, Dave. Uh, da -da. That's all I have for old business. Anything I've forgotten? Nothing I can think of. Okay. How about uh, new business? All right. Um, new business. Uh, I will just mention about the IPMS show. I think I, I don't think everybody was on when we were talking about it earlier, but uh, right now it is in limbo and uh, they hope to make a decision uh, before November 1. Uh, and from what I've heard, they don't sound too optimistic that it will be held this year. Uh, you know, everybody knows what's going on. Uh, you know, things can change within weeks. If we have a bad flu season, it, it, you know, it, it could uh, be that it will not be held at all. Uh, they haven't even ordered trophies yet. They haven't, really, they haven't started playing in anything. Uh, they do have the uh, space uh, reserve, but they have not put the money into it yet. Uh, you know, so they, they they haven't committed yet. They talk about possibly delaying it, or are they pretty much locked into that uh, February time frame. Uh, I don't know the answer to that, but I think that it uh, it, it would probably be postponed until. The, the following year, I, I don't. Th I think that they don't want to go into this um, with, with the, okay. Well, let's see if we can do it another six months or something like that because it's it's. Uh, they have somebody that's working it that's head of it. I know Chaz used to be it, and I haven't seen Chaz at one of the meetings in a while, but uh, it, it it's something that they will uh, look at, and I, I really think that it will probably be. Uh, postponed for, for in its entirety until 2022 but uh, as a as a as a as a, a point with an IPMS up in New Jersey they do a mosquito con in April and they postponed April of 2020 to August of 2020 and around the middle of July they just said you know what postpone it till next year so you know just yeah that, that, that's probably what's going to happen in Richmond. Um, yeah, kind of on that same theme, is there any interest among those here in having some sort of an exhibition that wouldn't require uh, people gathering? Like um, in the past, I thought it was in York County. Apparently we had a exhibit in Pocosin Library in the past. Um, maybe it's time for us to get out there somehow. So is there anyone that would be interested in donating a model to an exhibit? Should we be able to find a venue? I guess you could use your little reaction button at the bottom. You know, if we're yeah. going to spend all the time to put an exhibition together, it might be better to delay until after COVID when people can actually go see the models. Are people getting out to libraries these days? Or I, don't think, I don't think they're very heavily trafficked. And I think they do a lot of curbside pickup of books and stuff still. So. My wife's been going to the library almost every week. But I'll have to ask her how many people she's seen in the library she's going to. I've been to the library a couple of times recently, including the Newport News Library. And you can get in, but there's hardly anybody there. Okay. Well, it's just like Tom was talking about the New Jersey. I mean, pe people just aren't coming out right now. All right. Yeah, I thought 
our normal meeting venue is a library and they basically told us forget about it till next year and and right now everything is curbside pickup okay well that's different than my wife's experience so i understand and we have a model railroad club here in williamsburg and they they, they display every year around christmas time at the library and they've canceled all right i was thinking that um yeah, I understand now that it's different than it appeared, but based on my wife's frequent trips, I thought maybe that would work. All right. Um, well, on another note, has there been any word from the Mariners at all? None that I've heard. Plans? None that I've heard. I called the other day because I would like to find out if there's any way at all to get into the library. And I couldn't even get an answer on the phone. Nothing. Some of the Richmond museums have opened up. They've got time tickets and a lot more limitations than usual, but they do seem to be opening some. And their latest email to members was that they're, they're still closed. The trail's been opened up, but uh, the building's still shut down. Yeah, I had gotten an email from Ron Lewis, and he says that the earliest it looks like will be maybe the first quarter of 2021, but you know, right now things change from month to month. I mean, it's, it's nobody knows for sure. Yeah, yeah, I haven't, I haven't heard anything. So, We're all right, probably saving money by being closed. Yeah, a dollar admission. <laughs> all right. Um. All right, I guess that concludes the whole business portion. I'm going to um, stop and restart the recording. Just give me a moment.